Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Dan Harkins, and today I'm playing some hardcore team deathmatch on Green Ban. You don't see a lot of hardcore team deathmatch. The only reason I'm in this mode is to complete challenges for a very terrible shotgun known as the S12. Basically has the range of a pinky finger to kill somebody. After that, well, you're probably gonna die, not have a lot of good times or memories from this gun but I needed to take care of it it was on my list of other terrible weapons to use after the AMR 9 uh, so hardcore team deathmatch just camper central people don't move around a lot I go into this mode and let me tell you I'm not playing that let's sit in a corner bullshit game I'm taking this gun and I'm running and I'm gonna fucking shoot people in the goddamn face I ain't playing that and that's what makes this very frustrating is people will camp just sit in one corner and just that's that's how you do well in hardcore team deathmatch that's the way you play the game mode it's just never gonna be my type of game type personally I'll stick to team deathmatch I need to keep moving around but uh, I was fortunate enough to get this gameplay with me running around and shooting people and not being too detrimental on the team side where a lot of the games I was going extremely negative because people just sit in corners, they camp, you run by, you're dead, you're like what the fuck and then you're spending 10 seconds to respawn. Very frustrating and the spawns are just unforgiving. Been spawned a few times in front of an enemy and had them delightfully take me out. But enough about Hardcore Deem Deathmatch. What has Dan Harkins been up to? Well, let me sum it up. One, I quit my job because I couldn't do that shit anymore. Got tired of answering calls and doing technical support for people. Goddamn, is it powered on? Do you even have our service? You don't have our service. You need to get our service. Very frustrating. You know, I'm 27. Don't want to do that shit. So I started focusing my goals on uh, actually trying to become an insurance agent or get in the insurance field uh, and that's actually progressing uh, fairly smoothly right there so I'm excited about that got some new opportunities on the rise next thing I've been working on is actually been reading up on how to learn learn music uh, it would be my 27th attempt at it just reading books trying to get a good feel of it because I'm, I feel like I am uh, a musically uh, divine person I guess I, I just like it and I wanted to know a little bit more maybe play the piano and kind of pick up on that so that's something I've been doing on the side as well uh, next thing got the lady taking a lot of my attention and I'm okay with that uh, you spend seven years forever alone you're totally cool with giving her much needed attention as they request it uh, other than that I've just been chillaxing <laughs> Uh, don't really make a lot of commentaries, you know, I'd make it and then you know, I, I just wouldn't come through main thing I still live with a, my family that consists of my sister and her two kids She has like a newborn baby about a year old that kid screaming all the motherfucking time And I'd, I'd like to punch it in the face uh, however, that would be a uh, Would be unwise because then child protective services. I'm in prison not a fun time but that screaming gets picked up when I do these commentaries, so I usually do them at night. If I feel like doing them, usually around that time, eh, I don't really have that much energy to go through and, and do one. But I'm trying to get back in the game, try to do a few more commentaries a week, schedule them out, get those good to go. So, again, anyone that's watched this shit or followed me, I definitely appreciate you checking this shit out. Um, and been trying to reduce the ums and you knows it's always been something difficult when you're speaking you know my mind is moving a thousand miles per minute and sometimes I, I get stuck and I'm like um what or and so I'm really trying to reduce that down not just for commentaries but when I'm speaking to people in general I really don't want to have those filler words I, I want to be able to construct a sentence with my mouth and then expel it to someone so that that's definitely something I uh, am looking to do I'm not a hundred percent good at it yet but you know what I am making strides and progress will eventually happen 
Now, let me see here. Uh, I guess kind of an important thing going on. Uh, Advanced Warfare is going to be getting a new map pack next week. And hopefully this patch that Michael Condry has been talking about to buff some of these lesser used weapons. And I'm looking at EMP3, AMR9, MK14, S12, uh, any other additional weapons that suck. Going to be looking at hopefully getting those buffed up. I mean, a lot of these weapons... I mean, for Call of Duty, I mean, there's always been top-tier weapons, which is severely just dominated. But you still had other weapons that could still compete. If you were a good enough player, you could use those and do well. Granted, you would do better using the overpowered weapons, but you could do well. In Advanced Warfare, there's a lot of useless weapons that, that really don't make a lot of sense. Take the Mark 14. It's almost a four-shot kill most of the time the two shot kill range is in the range of where you can melee someone and it doesn't make a lot of sense this is a gun that requires you to be one accurate two good on the trigger and it doesn't reward you you could literally use any other weapon and post up better results and that makes me sad because mark 14's always been one of my favorite weapons a, you know good go to you know when you're trying to deal with long range engagements you're, you're fighting snipers very good weapon to have but in this game it will get you killed most of the time the s12 like i just said range is terrible not very strong even with extended mags get a lot of hit markers and i get hit markers in hardcore team deathmatch so that's a lot of bullshit they need to fix this listen you're gonna have an automatic shotgun. It needs to be fucking powerful. I love the AA-12 for Modern Warfare 2. You put extended mags on that, and you would just run on people, and people would would complain. You know, it's pretty cheap. It's one shot kill shotgun. Wham, wham, wham. I'm gonna cry some more here. And and for me, not a big deal. I mean, you had to grind that shit out. It wasn't easy. So you you deserve to have that type of weapon if you're gonna put the effort in. And a lot of these weapons, you can put all the effort you want in those Mark 14s, AMR 9s. They just don't pay off significantly in the long run. You know, if, if I'm going to put my time in the weapon, I want it to benefit me. But, however, for some reason, balancing just sucks in this game. You uh, either use the ESM1 or use the BAL. Just, it's going to be one of those two. And I wish I could see what gun kills me the most. I would probably say it would be the ASM-1. Probably not as much as the BAL as most people think, but you know what? Fuck it. Well, that's my status update. Thanks for checking this shit out. I'm done talking now. Have a fantastic day.